Hello, this is Gary Wishon, the disgruntled heathen with the mighty drug dog. In real life, I talk to people and they seem to have this sinking this pit of despair they find themselves in regarding Donald fucking Trump. In their mind, it's like Stockholm Syndrome. That in some level, they actually think he's untouchable. Nothing in this world is untouchable. No one and nothing can't be got to. Especially when they're wrong. It's taking time. It's taking a long, dreadful, painful time. This is a nation's kidney stone that will be passing soon, hopefully. And when it passes, this is going to be completely different for all of us. Oh, man. When he first became president, the first video I did regarding him is he's going to destroy the Republican Party because nothing controls Trump. Trump don't control Trump. Case in point. Trump's friend, the president and CEO of the National Enquirer has turned on him and turned state's evidence. Michael Cohen has turned on him and turned evidence. His chief financial officer of Trump business has turned on him and is now providing evidence. He's on tape talking about the payoffs to Stormy Daniels, which was illegal. You can't do that and run for president at the same time. Especially when he used the campaign funds. But wait, there's more. A lot of people are thinking, okay, Trump goes away. We have Mike Pence. that's going to save him at the last minute and give him a pardon. And Trump will go off in infamy. No. The state of New York is going to file charges against Trump for fraud on his charity. For using his charity to run for office. For using his charity to make repairs on his golf courses. Manhattan is going to do the same. And there's like four other states that's going to try to get them on emoluments clauses. You can't run, you can't be the president and run a business at the same time. Conflict of in interest. A lot of people you might be wondering why. Um, uh, when Jimmy Carter became president, he had to sell his peanut farm. It's the law. You can't do business and be president at the same time. No matter how much Donald Trump wants it to be that case, it can't be. State charges cannot be pardoned on a federal level. State charges will stick. And New York is not part of his evangelical base. But wait, there's more. Can you begin to imagine what really goes through his head? I mean, there's the Bugs Bunny circus of psychopathy that he unleashes each and every day. If he thinks for a second that he is not going to get any help. If he's going to be left out in the cold, like he's done so many others, he will turn on everyone he knows. The Republican Party, any dark, deep secrets he's been able to learn about, he will unleash it. 
in an effort to save his ass, in an effort to save his reputation. Because he's a petulant little bitch child who thinks if he's going down, he's going to take everyone with him. So even if Pence somehow manages to get past all of that, he's not going to he's not going to get past unscathed. Republican Party will not get past that unscathed. And all the charges already talked about. Robert Mueller hasn't even opened his mouth yet. He hasn't even put what he has out there yet. It's going slow. I know, like I said, it's going slow. It's very painful. But this is going to be an evolution in politics. This is going to be a game changer for this country. I really think the evangelical political base is looking at potential destruction. And that makes me happy. Till next time. Don't give up hope. Goodbye.